This is the kind of year that people start thinking about getting tutors. Now this isn't a video about whether you should or whether you shouldn't get a tutor or the economics behind some people being able to afford a tutor or how not to afford a tutor. This is a video on how to find a good tutor because if you do not have a good tutor you are just wasting money. So how do you find a good tutor and how do you have a difference between a good one and a one that's a waste of money? So I have tutored a lot throughout my pre-teaching and my teaching career. I tutored when I was an undergraduate student, I tutored when I was working in the lab, and then I took a bit of a break to my teacher training, and then um, my last years of teaching I tutored again. And I can say that I have been an absolutely rubbish tutor and I've been an amazing, brilliant tutor. Um, because when I was tutoring as an undergraduate, when I was tutoring as someone who wasn't an experienced teacher, um, I didn't do any preparation for the lessons, I just turned up with a revision guide and we went through the questions in there. And honestly, I doubt anybody watching um, that was someone that I tutored way back then, but that was an absolute waste of money. If you are looking for a tutor, you need to have somebody that is experienced in tutoring. You need to have somebody that's going to spend the time putting the effort into preparing a lesson just for you. You are paying for a service and chances are you're paying quite a lot of money for it. So make sure you get what you need out of it and make sure you have someone who actually knows what they are talking about. Now I can say that as a teacher I went into a tutoring session, I would give a student an exam question, they would do the exam question and I can go knowing the mark scheme, having sat um, marks and looked at lots and lots of exam papers, no that's right, that's right, that's right but you're not going to get a mark for an exam. Because especially when we're talking about chemistry, organic chemistry, when we get to A level, if you do not draw things perfectly, you are not getting the marks for them. And it is only somebody who is experienced, who has looked at the mark schemes properly, who will actually know that. Um, I would say that when I was tutoring as an undergraduate, I wouldn't have known that. And I would have gone, yeah, yeah, look at the screen. Yep, brilliant work, well done. And I wouldn't have had that experience or the, the knowledge to be able to turn around to the student I was tutoring and say, no, actually, this is what sort of thing the examiners are looking for. So being able to find a good tutor is vitally important. Now, tutors cost a lot of money money. I'm sorry, there is no way um, we can get around this or we can avoid this. But this is kind of like one of those false economies, that if you find somebody who is cheap, if you're paying less than £25 an hour for a tutor, I wouldn't employ that person personally. And I'm really sorry if you are somebody who's earning a bit of money on the side tutoring, you might be absolutely brilliant at what you do, but really, really good, really, really experienced tutors, you're probably cooking at about £40 an hour. And they are literally worth their weight in gold. I have tutored so many students who kind of like, you know, I'm an A. I know I'm a solid A for A level, but I need an A star to get into here to do medicine. Or they're kind of like, you know, they're a solid six in maths, but they want to go into university to do science, they know they need to do maths A level, and they need to get that seven to get onto that maths A level. It literally could be the point where your whole future is depending on this. Now, I know £40 an hour sounds like a lot of money, so what I've done is I've gone and got you a discounts with air tuition. There is a link in the description down below. They will give you 5% off all tuition, not just the first tuition session, which I know a lot of, a lot of companies just do money off the first tuition. No, it is just 5% off the entire time, which brings it down quite a bit. 
Now, what you can expect from an experienced tutor, and I know all the tutors at Air Tuition are brilliant and are very, very experienced, you can expect them to be preparing work specifically for you. I know when I was tutoring, especially GCSE Maths, lots of people would turn up and I could pretty much guarantee that in the first couple of lessons they would sit there and go, I don't understand certs or I don't understand vectors. And I'd go, okay, fine. Next week, we're going to do a whole load of sets or a whole load of vectors. And by the end of that session, they will understand it. That is the sort of thing you should be expecting from a tutor. That you go to them and you say, I want to work on this, 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 and this, and this. Can you prepare something for next lesson? And our answer should be yes, or if not next lesson, the lesson after that. And they will go out and they will find stuff and they will write stuff for you and they will come back and do it. I have heard some truly awful stories from people who've had tuition sessions where the tutor has turned up and shown them one of my videos. And they paid this person £25 an hour for them to sit there and watch one of my videos, which are free. Um... So if anyone tries to show you kind of like a teaching video, like a little clip of science, that's fine, like a one two minute experiment, that's fine, and then add something else on. But just having a tutor turn up and show you a YouTube video, that is not good enough. And if you are a parent watching this, trying to find out how to get a good tutor and what you should be expecting from a tuition session, then I would say don't sit in on the lessons because that can be a bit intrusive your child might feel a bit self-conscious but make sure you can hear what is going on um so that if you do hear them kind of like you know just showing a video then you can go or oh, maybe this isn't the right tutor for us so don't put them away you know like a closed room make sure you can always hear what is going on in there Especially if you've got someone coming into your house. Um, I, oh, this horror stories from when I was tutoring. I went to tutor this um, um, 13, year 13 kid. And his mum immediately went to shut the door behind me in a study. And I'm like, no, no. No experienced teacher would let that happen. And then she was all concerned for my personal safety. Thinking that I'd had a traumatic experience. No. If anybody... If any tutor comes into your house and insists on just the tutor and the student being locked, or not locked, shut in a room with the door shut, with no windows, that is a red flag immediately. Do not let this person anywhere near you or anywhere near your child. No person coming into your house should expect to be in a room with your child with the door shut. That's just red flags all over the place. Like, don't let it happen. Don't invite this person back into your house. If you have a tutor come into your house, make sure the door, if you're doing it in a study or dining room, make sure the door is open or do it in the open plan kitchen or open plan lounge somewhere. You can at least hear, if not see, what is going on at all times. Um, yeah, anybody that came into my house and wanted to be, like, door shut in a room with my child, that literally wouldn't happen. But it is astonishing how often I hear stories about that. That is another great thing about online tuition, is that you don't have that risk, because it is a very, very small risk, but it is still a risk of inviting people into your house and you not really knowing what they are like. Um, it is always good to go with a tuition company because you know they've been DBS checks. Lots of people that advertise themselves online and you know, this could just be recommendations through like your local Facebook group or so and so and so and so had a tutor and they were really good. Um, you've got literally no idea if they've been DBS checks or not. So always um, make sure you go with a company that insists on seeing people's, the DBS checks, the criminal record clearance to make sure that they are not potentially going to do something really, really nasty in your house. God, this video is taking a really awkward turn. Anyway, it is important. So, when you are looking for a good tutor, remember, you are spending your money. So, you should be able to dictate the pace and the direction of the lesson. Saying to them, I want to do this in a lesson, should be completely acceptable. And expect them to go away, prepare stuff for the next lesson, and bring it in. Even if they can't do stuff off the top of their head, that's fine just get them to bring stuff in next time. Make sure you go with a company that is checking the backgrounds of 
the people. So criminal records checks, DBS checks, um, checking they're not actually lying about who they are and their qualifications. Go with somebody who is experienced. Now these people will get booked up very, very quickly. Um, so please just try and get a tutor. If you want one, try and get a tutor as soon as possible so that you're not leaving yourself disappointed towards the end. Um, I hate to say this, but when I was tutoring and it would get to April, May time, and I'd be like, nope, not taking any more clients, not taking any more clients, no more time for my clients. And then a parent would turn around and go, we'll pay you this much an hour. And I'd be kind of like, yes, I will, thank you very much. It literally gets to after Christmas and you know, tutors are full, but if you start throwing silly money at them, then they'll probably say yes. Do not be one of those people who has left it so late, you need to start paying silly money for stuff. Um, uh, God, what was I saying? Yes, make sure that you um, go with somebody who's experienced. Um, don't just go with somebody who's cheap, um, because they might not have the experience to actually help you or your child with that. So, there are links in the description down below, guys, to really, really help you if you can afford it. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.